<clears throat> Hello and welcome to the final, and I really hope it's the final, otherwise I've given this a lot of build up, the final episode of KOTOR. I've just realised I've done this intro now, perhaps stupidly, because, oh god, I've just realised we have to take Bastilla with us. Oh Jesus. I really didn't want to take Bastilla. Anyway, I've just realised I've done, done this intro, perhaps stupidly, because we haven't actually flown to the Star Forge yet. So we're going to go there, there'll be heaps of movies, I'll summarise them for you, see you there. I did some dumb hand movements there, luckily it's probably off camera so you didn't get to see them. <clears throat> Alright guys, we've made it to the Star Forge, we've arrived. And there was movies, and there was also quite a long cutscene where um, the Republic fleet got in contact. They were like, oh, we're not doing very well. Malak's got access to unlimited ships. And Bastilla, the true Dark Lord, uh... <coughs> Sorry, I burped. Gross. Anyway, uh, Bastilla, the true da Dark Lord, she was all like, oh, you know, I'll use my battle meditation, pierce the attack. You guys are in charge, you know. And then Master Vandar was there, and he was... He suspected nothing. And anyway, so long story short... They're going to attack, we're going to go and kill Malak, then Bastilla's going to use her battle meditation to make the Starforge win. We don't really need that. I mean, we can create unlimited ships. That's kind of the OP power of the Starforge. They're already losing without the battle meditation. She's she's surplus to our needs. Uh, and uh, then, yeah, all the Republic will be destroyed and we'll kill all those Jedi. The only thing that's, you know, currently on my mind is, do we really have to take Bastilla with us? If we do, ugh, it's going to break my heart, because she sucks ass. Yeah, see, we have to. Remove her. I don't want her. Should we take Candorus? Yeah, Candorus is better than Zelba. Just. Zelba dies a lot quicker than Candorus, if you remember. But I'm kind of upset, because we had built the dream team, and now we have to take this useless... Bastilla with you us. made it. Oh, here's these Several other Jedi. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. <clears throat> we have to strike while we still have Can the we kill element them of surprise. Right here? We have to find Malak. A victory by the Republic fleet won't mean anything if the Dark Lord yes, gets away. Come on, before they. Uh oh, Dark Jedi. Do we have to help? Can we just let them be destroyed? Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. So much for that. We'll deal with this. Okay, you get we'll do that. <laughs> 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 Do we have to watch them fighting? I feel like the whole point of the distraction is that we've got to go and push We'll just kill them. I mean, it's, it's no sweat off our back, is it? To just kill them all. It's only going to take a moment. Yeah, problem solved. Uh, so, do you guys want to come with us? Or, uh, any plans? Oh, this guy's almost the dead. Sith, the Sith will want to cut off our escape. We don't want the Sith to cut off our escape route. Right, let's we'll level these people. Hold. Bastilla, will you ever be good? Tree injury's a bit high. Whatever, we'll just put more points in it. Who cares? Uh, powers. Anything useful? No. Death field's probably going to be the best. And Candrus. Here we go. Someone competent. Bit more treat injury for you, my friend. Oh, you're so good. You are so good. I reckon we can Who's carry Bastilla. Babe? You get in there and find Malak. It's kind of ironic that she's been given, you know, the power of being the full Dark Lord when uh I could probably one shot her. Serena Sora would just destroy Bastilla. Also, where do we go? I've been talking a lot. And Candorus is like, excuse me, you cannot go this way. But, oh, I didn't realize this was a path. But it is. Right, let's get this done quickly. I want to kill Malak, and I want to get into KOTOR 2 next time. I'm not sure if we'll go straight to KOTOR 2, or if we'll muck around with some, like, interim, you know, give it a little break, and then go to KOTOR 2. Still thinking about it. I mean, the audience is huge. <clears throat> oh, look. A dark Jedi Lord master. A team oh no, of Jedi it's just a similar looking corridor. <laughs> have landed on the Star Forge. This is not okay, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Oh, the droid oh. army. Oh yeah, these guys are really tough. I remember. 
The Jedi have invaded the Starforge. Is Destroy he talking them. to a droid? Destroy them all. That's such a weird thing about Star Wars, that people talk to droids. Surely, you know, if you've got a droid that powerful, you'd have the technology to just be able to push a button and it does what you want. I don't know. Makes sense in my mind. They don't really seem to be able to stand up to this. They're still is over there. She's, isn't she a, she's a sentinel? The worst class. Ugh. Also, I never got any feedback on uh, what class we're going to play Kota 2. Uh, there's like the two options I presented was the dual wielding uh, Sith Marauder. That's like the final form. So you go Jedi Guardian, then Sith Marauder, or Jedi Counselor into um, Sith uh, Lord. I mean, uh, the Jedi Counselor is that'll show you pretty much throughout the whole game. It's kind of badass how many like force points you end up with by the end. But it doesn't matter what class you pick, you are going to have more force points than you need by like level 50, you know? So to me, it just kind of seems like the game's balance is a little bit let down, really, in my mind, because there's only one, there is one definite true strongest, you know? Ah, oh, we can't do the jump to these guys? Whatever. She'll be right. <laughs> I almost just one shot these droids. Maybe they're not as tough as I thought. Maybe. I think if you turn it up to the hardest difficulty, these guys would still be pretty. You know, they're gonna mug you. Oh, there we go. We get to do a jump this time. But on this difficulty setting, medium. Yeah, there really needs to be a difficulty setting between medium and hard. Because hard is too hard, but medium is just... There's not enough going on. Not enough going on. Oh wow, there's more Jedi down... How do they beat us? I think the map just loops round, so... I'm gonna skip that map. Unless it turns out we have something important we need to go back. But I, I really think I vaguely remember from when I used to do that. The map is just huge, but you know, by and large it's really are they all gonna die? They all look the same. Which is kind of funny. And then they never bothered, to, you know, like Master Vandar exists and other races exist. But in this game, all the Jedi's are dead, Which is kind of funny. Well, except that cat lady, Juhani. But does she really count as a Jedi given that she went to the dark side? And then, like, the Jedi Masters are still so which is cool. But in terms of like the enemies, like you all the dark Jedi's look the same thing, which I think is a And they suck. <laughs> How did those those Jedi's all die? <laughs> Whoops. Well I guess they maybe they softened them up for us and that's why that was so easy. Which way should we go this time? You can't reply? Oh, well I think I'll go is there anything over there? See, this is what I'm talking about. It's just these long... Well, let's just alternate. We'll go right, then left, then right, then left. So before we went left, this time we're going to go right. And we'll see where the path takes us. This has been good because we got to fight a few more. Together, which is kind of cool. Also, Flurry so is meant to be weak against... Um, so why this class is so good, I should probably say. Squad Recovery Stim. I've never seen that item in my life. What does it do? Each squad recovery stim includes a number of fittings to be placed on every member of the group. When activated, a stim shot is triggered that heals everyone for 10 vitality points. This unit also includes electro stim fittings that spur the auto repair functions. But 10 points sucks, unless it's modified by your thing. Oh, there's heaps of them. I've never... Weird. Oh well. What was I talking about? I can't remember. Sorry. Totally forgot. Total blank there. 
I should try and remember stuff like that. That's gonna annoy me for ages. Why have you disturbed me? I Squad recovery stun, never seen it before. Jedi. Before that we got to fight Dark Jedi. Jedi's been going that way. Did my droids pass their test? Did, really something. Mm. Did they destroy our enemies? We did a stream yesterday, my yesterday, your stop them. Monday, I guess. I'll I say Monday. I think today's Tuesday, but I'm not sure. Could survive an attack could be Wednesday. The staff um, battle droids. It, it oh, Revan's here, Revan. by the way. Yes. Awesome. That would awesome. Dune. Of course Thank not. you guys for praising me so. One is powerful than my old master. Um, yeah, the stream was real good. I think next time we'll do City Skylines, maybe a stream of that. I'd be keen to do some more Crash Bandicoot 2. Um, not Crash Bandicoot 2 as in the game Crash Bandicoot 2, but Crash Bandicoot 2 as in like 2 0 Oh, I remember what I was talking about, the flurry move. Ah, the flurry move. So the flurry move normally is only meant to be powerful against enemies with uh, like small amounts of armor. But because we have 32 dexterity, and our chance to hit is plus 38. We will pretty much guaranteed always hitting with all three. Also, that was stupid. I could have avoided that, but I wanted to pick up these remains. Which means... Well, I mean, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? It means that no matter what, it's the most badass move. Because I don't think it has any impact on how much damage you do. Whereas power attack, sure, it does the most damage for a single hit, but you only get one hit. And normally it misses all the time as well, and it's really annoying. Also, we've got so many life support packs. This game just starts dumping the at the end. It's kind of It's like that Sith Apprentice. You've got no hope, buddy. You should have stayed home. Let's make this quick. I mean, what am I going to do today? I'm going to go and run straight to Dark Raven. That seems like a great idea. I'm sure I'll have a, you know, a life expectancy. I'm sure that'll be You're fine. Dead. Seems like a great idea. Oh, no. Oh, whoops. I don't know. Even Bastilla won't hit that guy. I'm sure Kander is hell. She just comes in for the kill steal, you know? Is there someone behind us? Right, buddy. Buddy o pal. Eat this. Oh, right, we have that. Alright, I'm just gonna beat those guys to it. Oh, Bastilla's almost dead. Excuse me? Bastilla, did you fail? What's the dealio here? I think there's unlimited things. And we've got endless life support packs, so we'll just ignore them. How much does that heal now? If we use a life support pack. Wait. Can you see that? Advanced med pack self. Advanced med pack 28 self. What happens if I use that? Bastilla, you know you're pretty good at the... <laughs> Didn't even see him. He just turned around and started getting behind me. Why are all the Dark Jedi's male? So sexy. Also, Bastilla really does. I gave you death. Death. It's like one of the most OP abilities. And we have... 21 life support packs. No, 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 no. This Just death fell that guy over there. Don't. What are you doing? Run! Oh dear. I think. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but when we first uh, started this game, uh, there was some issue where I endlessly got stuck in. Um, I honestly got stuck in moving, like I couldn't move anymore. I think that's happened just now. Thankfully, Candorus is still alive. Oh, so am I healing Bastilla with this? Or am I draining her? Look, it looks like I'm draining Bastilla. Oh, wait, wait till it doesn't. Oh, maybe he is doing it. Okay, well, that's like a show you. And where did we go last time? We went right, so this time we went left. This is a solid plan, this is working. I vaguely remember at this point that you actually have to go into these rooms and there's something you need to do. And, more to the point, I actually think 
there's something related to computer use. If, in which case, we're screwed. No one, no one in the party barely even has a point in it. Let's just death feel this guy's not as good against them. Uh, hello? Maybe he's something you like him? He's always removed from the back of the camera, it's so unsure. It means you have to remove everything if you want to perform an action. Yeah. Which is stupid, right? Because it means you can't say you really need to heal, and it's sudden that you need to heal. There's no way to, like, go, okay, heal right now, quickly. You have to go through a whole bunch of loops just to do that. Slice? We've got heaps of spikes. Generate light battle armor. Oh, customized Jedi robes. Sentry guns or customized Jedi. We're going for the customized Jedi robes. Oh, oh my goodness. I bet these are the Darth Revan robes. Can you even get those? Is that a thing? I want that to be a thing. That costs so many spikes. <gasps> it is. My robes are here. Where are they? Lay down the bottom. Oh, strength plus four. Why? Oh my god, that makes our attack marginally better. <laughs> strength plus four. Do we really need that? Should I put them on? Is it restricted to just me? Am only I allowed to wear them, or could I put them on Bastilla? Would they even be... Oh, Candorous is dead too. Ah. Uh, that is unfortunate. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Feeling good there? I do even more damage now that I have to suck Look at them! I didn't even know these were in the game. Okay, I'm sick of these grenades. That's not working for me. Oh, this is ridiculous. Stop it. Do they cause healing as well? Okay. This is ridiculous. Oh, someone's choking me. Uh, I think we're gonna die. But we're not actually in combat right now. I know that seems unintuitive. Because we definitely are in- Okay, we are in combat. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Well, we'll turn the game down to easy. That's always a good solution. We'll do some healing. That's okay. So what does the squad recovery stim do that's better than... Where did my... Ah! Show equipable items. It... Oh. Yeah, I understand. That was stupid. Never mind. Oh, utilities. Is it a utility item? Okay. How much does this heal? Heal 30 plus whiz plus three times. Okay, so let's do a little bit of that. Guys, if you would mind, I'd really appreciate it if you'd stop. Hammer time. No! Do not go running. Now is not the time. We need to be urgently healing. It's an emergency. Oh, wow. Look at my stats right now. Munted. Someone has hurt you, Serena Sora. Is this for real? Oh, why is it always so difficult to navigate these menus? Oh, we can't use those? Okay. Ah, oh, she can't do it! She's been too munted by all of their spells! And by spells, I mean, oh dear. I think we're gonna die. And you know what the worst part about dying at this point is? I haven't saved in such a long time. Can you stop it with all of this, the effects? Alright, this is ridiculous. What has that done? Yep, I just set my own wisdom to 32. Good luck using an effect on me now! That was probably overkill in terms of a response, but I do not care. I'm sick of these status effects, but if I, you know, I could have had a Wookiee with me, who's very competent, but instead I had to have this Gorlin Bastilla woman, and she's just... 
She's really razzling my chain right now. Wow, I have 32 whiskey. Do you know how high my saves are right now? 21. That's probably good. Oh, that means I get 21 rolls every time. Oh, I know another problem that we've actually got. Because these guys spawn endlessly, none of my team can actually recover. They can't come back alive. So, I don't know what to do. Oh, did he just throw a grenade? Is this for real? Ah, goodness. The goodness. Jump. Jump. No? Okay, no jumping for you. That's fine. This is intense. I'm not sure really what we're supposed to do. They just keep coming. Is the game trying to get us to max level? Is this their like, yeah, we'll just grind the player up? This is actually. Oh, that's right. Let's just get a move on. Let's get a move on. We'll use some of these thing jacks that we've got a million of. Can we use one of, like, a good one? Oh, there's turrets there. I'm just ignoring those. Okay. In through this door would be good. Ah, we have to destroy all of these turrets? Okay. Oh. We'll go for the stimulant as well. We'll go for the stimulant. Yes, we'll slowly pile on all of the stimulants. Did that one work? I don't think that one worked. And we'll take this one. Oh well, apparently that one worked. And, uh, yep, that's gone well. What are our stats like now? Ah, <laughs> uh, they're stupid. But it's, it, there is a point where you're, like, max stats. Is, there's not much you can do when you're this overwhelmed in terms of numbers. And I have no idea how we're going to get the still in to come back to life. Maybe if we kill all the turrets, the enemies will stop getting us this one as well. Because that's so uh, Wait, how many are there? But we do have our dark here, which is kind of cool. What's this metal cylinder? We've also got 32 wisdom now, which is just ridiculous. But I figure, you know, we cheated it before this point. We were losing. Why not cheat a little more? The enemies have stopped pouring out wild so I have to take that as a positive sign. Was there actually a fixed number, or did we just walk past some trigger that caused them to stop spawning? My uh, force points take about 10 years to come back. Oh. Actually, I think in this game, and maybe in Kotor 2, they don't come back, uh, back while you're in combat. Well, we've just been in combat for a super long time. Oh, hi, Candorus. Is this where you died? Nice. Well, good work, team. Um, just set my charisma to 32. You might be wondering why. Uh, because charisma is the one that's in charge of whether or not you can cast... Uh, light side force powers without using that much force. And it just so happens that the heal force power is a light side power. Um, Bastilla is still dead? See, now I can use heal and it's, you can see it's barely using any of my force compared to before. So that means we can just get the team up Everyone's gonna be happy again before they die in the next fight, I guess. Um, and onwards we go. Through the elevator door. How will it throw it? What is the time? Oh, we're, back. we're actually quite a long way in. Okay. Oakily dokily. Smokily oakily. 
Oh, here's Malik having another look at some stuff. Oh, the battle's going great, my lord. Oh, look. These are like his elites. I bet we can two hit them. You summoned Not us, Lord like Malik. all three. That's Best impossible. But each. I must select a new successor. Oh, to he's my choosing apprentice. a new apprentice. One who will one day take the mantle. That's gonna be me, Lord. Away from also, me. Also, there can be more than of one successor. I that have sworn allegiance to me. You maybe, three are the strongest. One of you will have the honor of becoming my new apprentice. One of them is gonna be the new apprentice. You is he gonna make them fight each other so I only have to fight what one? Because that'd be hilarious. Anything. Oh, ah, the, the one who kills me. Forge, looking to reclaim the title of Dark Lord of the Sith. You'd think. Wait here That's pretty moment, weak, right? Master, like, if they can kill me, but he's worried about me killing him. Kill like, the only reason you do that become is if you were like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill that Raven fellow. You, I'll get these other guys to try first. Surely, if I'd killed me, and I was one of those three... Not myself, like I didn't kill myself. Like I killed Riven and I was actually one of those three. I would just go and kill Malik because I'd be like, well, you know, Riven was actually the master. The station's defenses. So and then we shall see if Riven yeah. can stand Anyway, spin on Malik, you've had enough time to Ha 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 indeed. Loser. I wonder if we could make Kander as a Jedi. Oh. oh, we've lost all of our stimulants. It's just so... It's a lot of effort to put the stimulants on. Oh, crap. This again. Just the end spam. It's so stupid. They shouldn't put, like, harder enemies in. This is just... Instead of... What I mean is, instead of putting, like, 300 enemies... Get lost. Die. Die, Jedi. Oh, what? How did that get through? Is this for real? Is it casting Force Wave? That's a light. Oh, she has a new force power. Is everyone dead over there? I bet Bastil is gonna die. That heal, um, his power is super cool. Like, if you play a light side character, this game is actually... I mean, in in many ways it's a lot easier. Especially if you, if you, like, if you build a powerful support light side character, and then you rely on your companions a lot. Like if you play light side and then you take Candorus around and you cannot win. Jolly, oh, or even just Candorus and the Wookiee, and then you play uh, awesome support with say high constitution so you don't die, and then you just keep healing everyone, you can win so easily that way. Because Candorus and the Wookiee just run forwards and you just stay at the back spamming heal and it's really low for uh, force point cost because you're a light side character. Awesome. Also, there's a barrel all the way down here and nothing else and I need to get it. Even though that's so stupid. Couldn't they have just made the corridor a little shorter? Oh no, because... Oh, it was worth it though. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go show usables. Oh no, this is the one we want. So we're gonna go that, 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 that. And then we'll go into Candorous, and we'll do that, 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 and that. And we'll go on Bastilla, and we'll do that, 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 and that. What does that do? That makes her pretty tough. That makes Candorous god tier, and we're just like... The only stat that is low is intelligence, because intelligence is almost worthless. Right, now everyone's a beast. Let's see how this guy goes up against us. No. Oh! <laughs> that went well. 
Ah, uh, this one I couldn't jump to. Oh, well, I put a shield on, but it seems to have not helped at all. And that section's actually taking us a long time, so we need to hurry this up. We need to get a wiggle on. Oh, sorry, buddy. You are just like Candorous finishing off. Yes, I heard the sound of your demise. Are we level 20 now? I think we definitely are. Ah, uh, so are they locking doors? I need to walk through those. These aren't even the guys. These are just peons. Lips. They've got nothing on me. Uh, you got nothing. But you can't even knock me down. You're just pushing me backwards. He's <laughs> trying to knock me down. You died now. Now there's more coming up behind us, but I can't be bothered. Moving on, guys. Ah, yes. Bestilla. You were a fool to betray the master, and an even bigger fool to return. Oh, fools the only who fools still are those who still follow Malak. Open, 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 Open your eyes and see the, the true Lord of the Sith. Riven, Riven has Riven returned. It's me, Riven. Hello. Okay, spin on. I'm not even interested in what's going to finish. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to straight away go for a thermal detonator. And we'll follow it up with one of those adhesive grenades. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Did that work on all of them? Did it glue them all? Uh, did they just all walk into it? Also, I think we have 32 thermal detonators if I just count it right, which is insane. And I believe I said we were going to do it in two hits, and I didn't count. But. It was not difficult. Is there anything in this room, or is it just huge, like everything else on this map? Just huge. Is this the door? Not a real door. Well, that's actually one of my favourite things about this game, is the way that they just occasionally put doors in, and then there was no explanation, but there, it wasn't actually a real door. Like this one over here. Not a real door. Doesn't go anywhere. Maybe it's all the same, and they just, just... Oh, hang on, that one's actually got an elevator behind it. Ah, oh, but Malak. Malak must be through this door. The Starforge Star is under assault, assault from the entire, entire Republic, Republic fleet. fleet. If I don't, if I don't use my use battle, my battle meditation, meditation to turn the tide... The tide Admiral oh, they're gonna destroy it. They're actually winning. Starforge. I have to stay here in the command center so that I can best use my battle okay, meditation whatever. against... You must go to face Malak with... For God's sakes, two movies in a row. I can't handle the jandal. I had recorded a middle segment and then bam, another movie. Cut the... that it destroys the recordings. I hate the movies in this game. I hope KOTOR 2 doesn't do it, otherwise I might lose my marbles. Anyway, uh, Bastilla took Candorus. I don't know why, but she needed to stay behind to do her battle meditation, and she just closed the door while Candorus was still on the other side. She didn't even give him a chance to be like, actually, I'm going to go with Serena Sora because I don't want to hang around with you because he's going to come and um, Malik's going to come and kill us. I don't know. I just, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay. Type A spike bin. Oh, this looks like a puzzle. I freaking love puzzles. We know how good I am at puzzles. Okay. Generator inactive. Oh, shit. What if we just try and open the door? There's so many computers and they're so far apart. Couldn't they have just put them all next to each other? Let's try opening this door. Oh, it just opened. Hi, Darth Malik. Uh, I'm ready to cut you in half now. If you've got a moment to spare, I'd love to talk to you about the Force. Oh, whoop dee do. I tire of this game, Revan. You have been a thorn in my side from the moment okay. you made a mistake coming here, Revan. You are no match for me. I am the Dark Lord Reborn. Bow down before me. You have me. reclaimed your identity, Revan. You are an insignificant, an insignificant speck speck. beneath my notice. You had no you idea. You can't even. You don't even have a mouth. This mouth. Place. Its very walls are alive with. Uh, he just ran away. He is so dead. Ah. I 
it's a puzzle. And it, it, I was wondering how many answer these puzzles. I always have to Google them. They're really hard. Maybe the robots will die and then we'll win a puzzle. Oh, they're so easy to kill. Look at this. <laughs> I can barely even force storm them before I just kill them. Oh, hang on, are they unlimited? Because that could be more of an issue. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, if you don't mind, I just need to do something. Oh my god. How many... Oh, so oh, every time we kill a droid, spikes get put in the spike bin. next to that computer, depending on the type of droid we kill. So we need to kill eight of each one in order. I mean, it's possible. It's just going to take because we just we used up all of our spikes getting. Rid of the I'm really glad I put my wisdom up because it's a pain in the butt. I mean, I just want to stay in the storm, storm, storm. And uh, this is going to take And the worst part? We're already level 20. If we had Bastilla and Bastilla, we'd be leveling up. Level 20 is the level cap, by the way. Managed to get to this point and played this far into Kotor. Like, oh, this is cool. Okay, let's see if we've got enough spikes. Heaps in this bin now. Five. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, disable the generator. I don't. I don't want a live feed. Are we going to have to watch one of those every time? There's no point giving me experience points game. I have so many. The worst thing is, once we've killed them all, turned off all the computers, we have to walk all the way back down the corridor. Now, we've got ten left. And each time, we're going to have to kill... Are they getting stronger each time? And why are there different ones? This just seems like such a easy puzzle from a game design perspective. Right, we'll have several identical droids, but we'll have things. And then we have to do the same thing six times in a row. It's, it's like a RuneScape level complexity. It's just artificial difficulty. Just by doing something over and over again. They definitely started to run out of ideas later in this. The start is much stronger than the finish. <laughs> Although, if you turn on a certain sheet, the end is spectacular. Dance, dance, Malik. This is definitely a weak point in the game. Some of the puzzles are cool. My favourite one, if we're thinking of all the puzzles in the game, my favourite one's probably the one on Terrace, when you have to get those, you get like the recording, the audio recording, and it's about the banth, the bantha? I don't know, the banter. And um, you have to get the five different players to the band, um, and you have to work out, you know, the correct order to do the players. I think that one's a cool one. And I think the animation of the players playing the instruments while you're solving it, that's cool as well. I think, yeah, that's probably the, my favourite one in the game. Also, is that droid over there, the Type B, has that stopped attacking? Because I've... Or some of the melee. Melee? Melee. We've only got six. Oh, he's... The worst thing about that is we have to kill. Yeah, we We have to kill this one two more times to get Because I can't be bothered walking back to another one. All good. 
Righty ho. That's all we need. I wish that would kill him when it exploded. And the door opens, and Malak prepares for destruction. Oh, we can talk to you now? Because this one was still evil. Oh, you can't see my mouse, I'm pretty sure. I've been doing that a lot lately. Sorry, I was doing that in um, City Skylines quite a lot. And when I was editing it, I was like, ah, oh, darn, there's nothing I can do about this now. When I do the streaming, it'll be a different thing, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see my mouse. I'm pretty keen to do a stream, City Skylines, because I'd love your input. What I'm thinking is I'm going to try and make a city with no education and no high-density housing, and then I want to get to 100,000. There's a map that I've got in mind for doing it already. I think traffic's going to be, as always, the biggest woe. Also, I'm going to save right now, because... <laughs> Jesus. And let's put on Dance Dance Malak, because I don't know if you've seen it before. I hope that works. Come on, Malak, dance. Dance for me. That didn't work. Oh well. Well done, Revan. One day. I was certain the defenses you of the Star Forge would destroy you. Someone else will have it. But I see there is more of your old self in you than Oh, I you're a bit worried now, Malak, are you? You're stronger than I thought. Oh, stronger, stronger than, than I was before. That means you're looking Lord. it's looking grim for you, Malak. I was always stronger than you. That was Once why I was the master. stronger than me, Revan. But as your apprentice... You betrayed me. You were afraid to face me. No. I was prepared <laughs> to face you, Revan. The trap set by the Jedi only hasten. Yeah, sure thing. You knew I was stronger than you. And you still know I cannot know it. deny your resilience. You survived my first betrayal. You even oh, survived yes, I my attempt you every to destroy time you and the Starforge you itself. And serve you Fate and sheep. destiny have conspired to keep you alive mm, despite all my efforts. Fate and destiny have efforts. conspired to keep you Once alive. Again, we oh. shall face each other. We're having a fight. Alright. Oh, I just magicked you into a lady and now we're dancing together. Oh, it's happening. And so ends Malik the reign dead. of Malak and the beginning of, of the reign the of Darth Revan. Malak, turned oh, into a t oh, dancing oh, twillock, oh, kept forever oh, in my throne room. Oh, the Republic oh, destroyed. The Sith bow before you. You and the throne is mine. Serena Sora, of time the ultimate evil, them from Darth the of the Revan. The Republic fleet is decimated. The core worlds are defenseless against us. And that, my friends, is uh, KOTOR. I didn't think, um, I was tossing up whether or not to do the Darth Malak fight again, just for your sakes, um, so you could see it, but <laughs> there's not much point. It takes a long time, and I would have thoroughly thrashed him. And I think it's kind of nicer that in some ways that I've just turned him into a Twi'lek that dances forever in my throne room. I think that's the way that I would like the legacy of Serena Sora, Darth Revan, to go forwards. And obviously this is non-canon. Uh, they didn't write it into KOTOR 2 that Serena Sora was evil and uh, took over the dark side of the Force and turned Darth Malak into a dancing Twi'lek. You know, that, that's not how it really happened, apparently. The real way was that Darth Revan was not Darth Revan, but instead Jedi Revan. Good side Revan, I don't know, whatever. And defeated Darth Malak, turned Bastilla back to the light side. She used her battle meditation to defeat them, and they destroyed the Star Forge. But that's way less fun. So... We'll go with my way for now. So this has been a really long series. This is probably the longest series I ever did. So for those of you that watched, awesome, you rock. My socks. Especially anyone who's watching this after, like, I recorded it and missed all of the streams. So there's just a random section that doesn't exist. Trust me, you didn't want to watch those videos. The streaming, I hadn't worked out the settings for the streaming thing. And it was just a disaster. And they're pretty much unwatchable. 
so that's a shame. But uh, trust me, they were evil. I did evil stuff. For now, I'm signing out. Thank you again for watching. May the force be with you. I shall see you in the next video, or when we start KOTOR 2 if you're only interested in watching that. Bye!